Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel, hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. Now this is a general message, it might not resonate with everyone, so I've put playlists up for November, you can have a look at them and they might suit you better. We have the Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. So this is about, it's equivalent to the Ace of Swords, um, it's new inspirations coming forward, getting clarity, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning, new opportunities. Aces are brand new beginnings. So uh, you could be inspired and in starting to see the way forward here. Clarity is coming in. Trust. Trust in your ability to take up new opportunities here. Trust your intuition. Trust in spirit and the journey you're on. Uh, that they are capable of uh, new beginnings coming, definitely. So listening to your intuition as well always helps when you're starting something new. There's something better here. So there's something out there for you here, Sagittarius, that's coming in and you're going to get inspiration from somewhere. This could be communication coming in or it could be you understanding what's going, what's going on around you. We'll just see what the tarot has to say here. I do apologise if my readings have been a bit low key. I've had laryngitis and I've not been able to speak, but I've done my best to try and get the readings out. This is the Six of Cups. Ten of Cups. The High Priestess. The Knight of Swords. The Ten of Swords. And the Four of Wands. The Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Now this is about your challenges ending. So challenges are over. All the disappointments are over now. It's about gaining clarity about how we're going to go forward now after disappointing cycles are coming to an end. So any backstabbing, disappointments, any mental anxieties that have been weighing heavy on your mind, they're at an end now. And like I say, it's about starting to see the way forward to brand new beginnings and clarity. So mentally starting to see the path you need to go down. Now, whenever we're going through things, we are learning about ourselves here. So we're going to trust our judgment here, trust in the universe that this is over now. And we have gained some information here that's going to help you move forward to brilliant new beginnings. So you could be inspired now. It's about being inspired to go forward. Now, this could be you moving forward because you've got new inspiration that's came into your life, your challenges are over, your mental anguish is done and you're starting to see the way forward. So there's movement coming in um, and trusting and believing there's something better for you in the future, absolutely. Uh, or this could be somebody bringing you information. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming in very quickly to give you some information or communicate something to you uh, to help you move forward to this brand new beginning. So ACEs, remember, are brand new beginnings in clarity. It's inspiration, brilliant new ideas that you have, trust in your ability to be able to achieve these. So there'll be very fast movement. This could be very fast. So you'll start to see the way forward because the challenges have ended now. Now, when we're thinking about how we want to go forward, like I said to you earlier in the, the reading, it's about tuning into your intuition. So this here is about what you're feeling, sensing and what you're seeing around you. Your intuition will never let you down. So whether you call it intuition, your soul voice, your gut feeling, always connect in with yourself here when you're uh, going forward or there's any information coming in. Um, this helps you. It's your emotional guidance system here. Now, this is about laying new foundations for your future after challenging times. Now, this could be in any area of your life we're talking about. It could be your finances, your relationships, your work life, your environments. But this is about coming together. You might have an idea now that you want to join some kind of company or there's some job you want to go for. It's about being inspired to start laying solid foundations for your future. Now, I say job because this could be the collaboration card here. It could be employment. You could be coming part of a team here that's going to help support you with your stability. So working together with people. It could be you coming together with someone else. It doesn't have to be a group, another person. And you're collaborating together and you're laying solid foundations. The good thing about this Three of Pentacles is that no matter what efforts you put in now, you're, you're going to 
benefit tenfold. So your hard work will pay off because everything is being laid on solid foundations. So disappointments, anxieties, whatever's going on in the past now is at an end. Trust that you have the ability to create solid foundations for yourself in whichever area of life we're talking about here. Uh, because this is your hard work paying off, definitely. So beautiful, solid, stable energy is going to come in. If you're inspired, for example, to get, a new, like I say, a new job, it could be buying a new home with someone, um, investing your money in something, whatever it may be, there's definitely uh, abundance going to come from it. So abundance in every area of your life. This could be uh, wage rises, it could be uh, windfalls, it could be inheritances, any improvement in your financial situation you're going to benefit from. So you could end up promoted eventually as well with promotion, that type of thing. Your business could flourish, your home could make money through time, all this type of thing. Now, it could also be you coming together with another person. So you might be gaining family members because we have got the family card here. You could be get, there could be new friends coming in, depending on what this information that's coming forward is, of course, that'll be different for everybody. But there's a lot of abundance, so good support networks, like I say, being part of a team in work that works well, and you're growing and you're being successful in what you're achieving here. So beautiful energies. So this is about trusting that you can take control now. You're in a position after disappointing times to take up new ideas, to be inspired through what you've learned and how you want to go forward. So it's a challenging new beginning, definitely. The challenges are at an end and it's a brand new beginning that's coming forward. There's something better out there for you now, Sagittarius. So it's about taking control and feeling empowered. Now, this could also be somebody with a lot of knowledge that's going to help you. So it could be somebody bringing you a boss a type energy or somebody who's knowledgeable, bringing you information that's going to help you move forward to lay the solid foundations for the future. So knowledgeable, professional person that's got, that you could benefit from knowing or being, uh, being associated with. Now, what's going to happen here is there's going to be, like I say, great blessings here for you, your family, your soul tribe, if you don't have a family. This is blessings here after times of challenge. So beautiful blessings at the end of this rainbow for you, your family, uh, soul tribe, friends, whatever it may be, you're going to be successful here. And it could also bring stability into your life, great stability. And that's why I mentioned a relationship, because this could be the marriage card, definitely. So, you know, anything new, anything new, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of the situation and a challenging beginning. So it could be that your relationship could be challenging to start with, but it could end up that you're going to come out on top with a family and marriage. So always tune into yourself here when you're making decisions about how you want to go forward. So there's good things coming in here, uh, Sagittarius. It's trusting in your ability, trusting that you are inspired enough to start down this new path. There's too many. That one wants to come out, definitely. I'll take the three because they're here. Passion. Passion. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt and don't hold back. It's time to be inspired. Focus. You're in the need of a clear direction. Decide what you want in life. Absolutely. Abundance. Goodness me, we've got abundance again. Great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. Absolutely. There's something great on the horizon here, Sagittarius. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.